Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to share some Android apps that I have been using lately. I generally do not uh, test a lot of apps, but uh, I've noticed that I've been using these apps and these apps will fall into the productivity department. So I just thought, why not share with you? And uh, the first app that I want to share with you is known as the Button Mapper. And again, all these apps are available on the Google Play Store, so you can download them. And with every Android phone, you have some physical button. For example, this is the LG V30 Plus. The power button is in very awkward position. And uh, we have the volume rockers. And with this simple app known as the Button Mapper, I'll just open, you can customize what a button can do. For example, uh, I can customize the volume up and down and uh, so for example, I have done that. For double tapping, I have enabled the flashlight and the other for the volume down, I have enabled do not disturb mode. For example, let me show you. If I just double tap this uh, power button, I can just quickly toggle the flashlight. So this can come in handy, I would say, at times. And for the bottom one, as I work with a lot of videos, I, I put it on do not disturb, that mutes the phone. So if I double tap, it quickly just muted the phones, as you can see. So this is a pretty handy app and it's free. So you can customize your, your what do you say, hardware buttons that you have with this uh, app. And it offers some basic, what do you say, uh, customization also. So a pretty handy app, I would say, not a must have, but uh, can be convenient. Uh, the second app, again, I started using this because if you notice this new form factor that is 18 is to nine, uh, the screens have become a lot uh, taller. So every time if you're just like this, reaching to this uh, for your, your notifications and stuff is a little bit uh, difficult. And I've been using an iPhone, so I found this app by accident and uh, this, if I just swipe from here, as you can see, this brings the control center. And this is very familiar if you've used a iOS device, that's an iPhone. So this works really well. And uh, I just started using this for fun, but I find it useful because I've just mapped it from here so I can just pull it. And uh, this is done by this app known as control uh, center. And let's just go back. And uh, this is the interface that you get. But again, um, when you use this, uh, we get quite a bit of ads. But apart from that, uh, it's a good app. So once you customize it, you don't have to go here. And you can control the size uh, where you want this uh, hot. Uh, for example, I've set it over here. You can set it at the bottom also if you want, as you can see, and adjust it. So this is a very simple app. I, As I told you, you see ads. That's the biggest problem with this uh, app. Uh, but again, as I've told you, you don't have to use this app uh, a lot once you have customized it it works and this regular operations it's fine like this so this is again one more app and again as you can see people keep asking me about wallpapers what i'm using uh the thing is that i haven't downloaded these wallpapers uh, again i found this app for example let me show you uh that is known as wall on and uh, this is a great app actually for wallpapers let's go back to the home as you can see, we see a bunch of wallpapers. This is the one I'm actually currently using. As you can see, you can just scroll like this. And uh, let's say you want, you like this one, you just click on this. And you can set it as wallpaper or you can even download it and uh, share it if you want. And uh, the good thing is that it also shows you the details uh, where uh, this, uh, what do you say, by which camera it was shot and what settings. So if you are a photography nerd, you might find it helpful. But the collection of, what do you say, wallpapers is actually good on this one. So as you can see, this is a very cool, uh, what do you say, app for setting up the wallpapers, pretty high quality wallpapers. And you get all this for free. Uh, the next app uh, is uh, known as SMS Organizer, and I really like it. This is actually by Microsoft. I don't know, it's, it has a funny name, SMS Organizer. I've mentioned about this earlier also, and this auto organizes your SMS, which can be a big boon. For example, as you can see, this is the personal tab. So personal SMS are automatically uh, uh, tagged in here. These are the transactional SMS, for example, your bank account, uh, whatever transactions you're doing, they'll be com uh, coming over here. And this also has an option that only if you have unread, it will just show that. And again, you get that junk SMS and all of that is automatically put into this. So I find this really uh, intuitive. I just started using this about uh, a week ago and I'm hooked onto this app for SMS. So it's a very good SMS app. And I hope uh, Google implements this sort of functionality in the default SMS app in the future. So for SMS, I feel uh, this is a very, very practical app. Again, you can archive also the messages. Let's say this is pretty important. You can just 
uh, move it it shows you you can archive it and uh, do other stuff so a pretty handy app uh, this is also for free and this is known as the sms organizer and uh, this is not a special app but i have been using this a lot this is known as google keep uh, this is a notes app i use this a lot for example jotting down notes when i'm reviewing devices etc so as you can see and this works across devices so it's linked to your google account so i use it you can actually also use this for shopping list because it op uh, offers this option of what do you say having uh, check boxes like this so you can just for example just check and use it like for shopping also i've used it a couple of times like that but uh mainly any notes or stuff that i have i have on this one a very small app a uh, but a pretty useful app as you can see i have been using this one for a long time so this is google keep again uh, free and lastly i also started using this launcher again if you have uh, watched uh, the videos that i make on lgv30 i didn't like the default launcher so i'm using this launcher this is a custom launcher this is known as the microsoft uh, launcher i won't go in depth re regarding this one because i've already made a video on this so you can check out that for more info uh, but this is the launcher that i'm using it's fast and it's been about a week and since uh, still i'm liking this launcher the only thing that i do not like about this launcher is that when you go on the left uh, you get this pane uh, and I don't like uh, what it's showing me over here. That's not that much customizable. They should have allowed me to put just the Google Now uh, cards over here. But apart from that, it's a very functional, uh, what do you say, um, uh, launcher that you're getting and you also have gestures so you can customize it and uh, so these were the apps that i've started using on a regular basis apart from this for music uh, uh, i was using the wink i still use wink uh, because i have an airtel connection it's free and but i've also started using uh, google play music because i have google home uh, and i'm using the what do you say paid subscription i think so they charge 99 rupees and it, this one actually works a lot better with uh, google home devices and apart from that uh, Android is also uh, one of my favorite apps that I use uh, to transfer files to the computer wirelessly. Apart from that, Truecaller. So again, I don't use a lot of apps, but uh, these are the apps that I have been using lately. I hope you found them helpful. And do let me know what are your favorite apps and particularly any apps that help you uh, become more productive. Do share uh, your uh, thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. So guys, that's it for now. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.